Just starting in the morning with Mrs. Baines and Josie. Um, we have a guest today, Mrs. Ayers. Hi. Uh, Mrs. Ayers is here to talk to us about pop tabs. What? So what were what were we doing this for? So the pop tab collection is something our school does as a service project. We collect the pop tabs all throughout the year and then we take them to a recycler and all of the money from them is donated to the Ronald McDonald House Charities. And what they do is they help families who have a child in the hospital. Um, a lot of times those are families from out of town who don't have a place to stay while their child's in the hospital. So the Ronald McDonald House gives them a place to stay. So all of the money from that collection goes directly to help them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, Mrs. Ayers, can you tell us how we did this year? Yeah, this was actually the best year that we've had. Um, we collected 58 pounds mm -hmm. of soda tabs. And you think about that, that's just that little part at the top of your can of soda. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's and a lot. <laughs> over the year, it added up to 58 pounds of those. Wow. So, And they finished for this year, but we're, already, we're still collecting right now. That'll just go toward our first donation next year. Thank you. Today we are talking about the week of the 30th through the 4th of April. The Smiles for Kids will be here um, next, this week. Mrs. Baines, can you please tell us more about it? Yes, this program is the Smiles um, for Kids in New Mexico. It's like a portable truck that comes to our back parking lot, and kids can receive low-cost or free dental care with our Smiles truck. Thank you. Teacher Appreciation Week will be happening this week. Mrs. Baines, can you tell us more about Teacher Appreciation Week? Yes, we are honoring all of our certified teaching staff through this week. So, um, kids, if you have a special teacher and you just really would like to thank them, this is the week to really make sure you do so. We're going to have different activities and um, food events like lunches and stuff for the teachers. Ooh. <laughs> Mrs. Ayers, can you tell us some ways that people can that have shown their appreciation to you as a teacher? Um, you know what, I've been really lucky that you know I've had just amazing students and families over the year, over the years, and they show appreciation in so many different ways. Um, it might be like a little gift card for a cup of coffee. I've had kids bring me in a soda because I drink a little more soda than <laughs> I should. Um, really, some of the ones that have just blown me away have just been a little handwritten note from a parent or a student just telling me something I've done that made a difference to them. Um, and that just warms my heart. So there's tons of ways you can show appreciation. Um, second graders will be having a science fair on, my, on May 2nd. Do you know what time they start? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure the second grade teachers are sending home notices for their science fair. Okay. But I didn't have the times on me before our broadcast. Fourth and fifth graders have a showcase on May 2nd. The fourth graders mm -hmm. start at 6.15 and 7, and, the, and that is the art. And the fifth graders start at 5.30 and end at 6.15. Um, and that is the music part. Yes. yes. This was Sorry in the Morning with Mrs. Baines and Josie. Oh, and please remember to be quiet during the halls because... Kids in third, fourth, and fifth are testing. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.